everybody works so hard for their money, for their livelihoods, and for them to choose us to come and visit and stay with us. I'm so grateful. My guests are my the reason this business is doing so well, because they come back and they get it. They get the Tower House. It's really, really great. It's like a small luxury hotel. Any question or need you have, the answer is always yes. We take our guests to the beach in our car so they don't have to deal with parking. We have chairs and towels that we let them use. Things like that, driving our guests to the Block Island Ferry. People realize that they can go to a place where someone will take care of them and spoil them. That's what Chris and I think about it. Chris is the the foundation of this business. He makes me look brilliant. He's the best chef you'll see when you come. The breakfasts are great. They're always changing. If you're here for a long stay, you'll probably never have the same thing twice. And uh, of course, I'm in the kitchen early. If you want to come down to visit me downstairs and have a mug of coffee on the front porch and look for the hummingbird, well, that's fine too. And then in the afternoon, we put refreshments out. We have soda and seltzer and Narragansett lager and uh, red wine and white wine and a cheese board. This house was built in 1885. That was the golden era in New England, and Narragansett was a mecca for tourism. People came from all over. This house has a sanctuary feeling, and these layers of this history add to that. Someone said that he was coming in to take a deep dive into relaxation. (laughs) It was great. And another person said that this was a sanctuary for him. He was coming to recharge his battery from New York City. It's a great way to interact with humankind. Everyone is so different and so magical. It's just the coolest thing ever. I absolutely love it. And we always try to make ourselves better. We're in pursuit of perfection. That's our mentality, to pursue the best of all we can offer for our guests.